Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of the Fat Vegan Chef. First of all everybody, I'd like to apologize. I'm going to look and sound a lot more unusual than I usually do. And the reason why is because I am going through some Bell's palsy right now. This side of the face I'm not going to be able to control. So I do apologize for that, but I did want to continue to make videos for you while I'm going through this. Um, so. Uh, my videos for the next few weeks or few months I'm gonna look pretty funny so laugh at my expense why don't you with that embarrassment over with please be sure to subscribe to my channel uh, subscribe on my website as well you'll be notified when I post new content I don't just post videos every once in a while I'll post an article or two and that is just extra content for you that's found on the fatveganchef.com. Also, please follow me on your favorite social media site. I'm everywhere. Just look for the Fat Vegan Chef. And if you're coming to me from the Vegan Life channel, I really appreciate it. Please be sure to subscribe on your favorite social media site. And then that way you'll know when I post new videos and you can go to the channel and see them. You'll also be able to find the recipe in a lot more detail on my website. If you enjoy the content that I produce for you, please become a patron. Go to tfvc.org forward slash Patreon and donate a dollar or two a month to help keep me going. It goes towards the ingredients and everything else that I do for you for this channel. Anyway, Valentine's Day is coming up and I thought I would share with you a recipe that you can make for your Valentine that's really quick and easy to make and will be a sure winner for your significant other. Go ahead and grab a piece of paper and a pen. Let's go ahead and find out what tools and ingredients we're going to need to make this dish. Thank you. 
As you can hear, the water is starting to boil, and you want to cook the pasta according to the directions on the package, which on mine is five minutes. You want to be sure that you have all your ingredients prepped and ready to go, because this dish cooks fast. It is something that is an adaptation of what I cooked in the restaurant when I was the saute chef, and all those recipes are designed to be cooked really fast to bring fast dinner service. So this is something that we would that we would prep all the ingredients ahead of time and then cook this dish to order. Uh, same with my uh, vegan chicken marsala and my vegan chicken caramia. Those all are adaptations of recipes that I actually cooked when I was a chef and they were all designed to be cooked to order. So if you want to find those recipes, go to thefatveganchef.com and you can find them. So I have my saute pan heating up here. It's probably already nice and hot. I'm going to go ahead and add in the one tablespoon of vegan butter and the two tablespoons of olive oil. And this is not expensive olive oil. This is stuff that I used to cook with. So don't use the expensive stuff when you're doing this. So once the butter is melted, then I'm going to go ahead and add the scallopinis. Alright, the butter's all melted, so I'm going to go ahead and add the scallopinis. And I'm going to saute these until they're golden brown on the bottom. Alright, these are turning nice and golden brown. I'm going to flip these over on the other side. So let the other side turn golden brown. And while that's doing that, I'm going to add the one teaspoon of garlic and the pinch of red pepper flakes. Okay, the scallopinis are brown on both sides and the garlic is starting to turn nice and brown. So give your white wine mixture one more quick stir and then add that to the dish. And we're going to reduce this in half. Also add in your white pepper, and that's 1 8 teaspoon of white pepper. And when you reduce your wine, kind of lightly scrape on the bottom of the pan, get some of that flour mixture from the bottom of the pan. Bring your heat up to high. Also when your noodles are done, if they're done long before the piccata is cooked, uh, after you drain it, go ahead and coat it with a little bit of oil to keep it from sticking. Okay, the white wine has reduced. Go ahead and add in the quarter cup of lemon juice, quarter cup of capers, and most of the parsley. Okay, the sauce is just about ready. Go ahead and shut off the heat. Set your vegan chicken scallopinis aside. Add in your earth balance, and we're going to just very, very carefully mix this in with the sauce. We don't want to overheat or overdo it because we don't want the sauce to break. Okay, that's good. Go ahead and get your scallopinis mixed in with the sauce. Just like that. Now I'll meet you over at the counter. So let's go ahead and plate this. Gather up a nice amount of the fettuccine pasta. Put that in the back third of the plate two of the scallopinis. Place it just like that. Now take half of your sauce and drizzle it on your pasta and on your scallopinis. Place your lemon wedge in the middle. Garnish it with your parsley and then repeat with the other dish. I hope you enjoyed watching my vegan chicken piccata recipe. 
Let me know how your Valentine's Day turned out if you made this. You can follow me on your favorite social media site. Just look for The Fat Vegan Chef. To be updated on new content, go to tfbc.org forward slash sub. Please help me buy ingredients and tools that I need to make these recipes for you. You can find out how by going to tfbc.org forward slash donate. If you would like to donate monthly, you can become a Patreon. Just go to tfbc.org forward slash Patreon and that will take you to my Patreon page where you can do that. I would certainly appreciate it. Again, I'd like to thank everybody and I will see you next time.